Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are taking a family road trip to the countryside to visit Grandma Angie. And we're pulling up at this gas station right now because I think everyone just needs a little break. Okay, so first of all, how's the car's gas tank looking? We have enough to make it. Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rearrange the luggage in the trunk because it's been rolling around everywhere. I'm gonna run in real quick because I gotta pee urgently. Daddy, I need my iPad back. You both need to stop fighting about this iPad. It's for you both to share. So let her play on it for a bit. Right, it's still my turn to use the tablet. I don't like sharing, it's my iPad. Mommy and Daddy said we need to share. Okay, so that's finally done, and what's going on in here? Y'all still fighting over this iPad? Well, you both could have had separate ones, but you decided to break the other iPad, and Mommy and Daddy aren't buying another one because it's tag season. So, like your dad said, you guys can share it. Livy, you'll get it back in 30 minutes. Hmm, fine. Okay, so what does the GPS say? How much longer until we get there? We have about 45 minutes left, so let's try and make this quick. Where's this girl at? Uh, looks like she's done using the restroom because I can see her in there buying chips. But honestly, she's probably just trying to take a break from us because I don't blame her. She's pregnant and stuck in a car with all of us. Thanks! Mom, I'm not getting any service. Well, you better get used to that because that's how it's gonna be for the next couple of days. Can't we just go back home? We will be spending time with our family. Therefore, you don't need any service. Yes, your father is right. We don't need any service. We have each other. You'll be okay, I promise you. Well, let's try to make it there before the sun starts going down. Okay, everyone, so we just got to Angie's place and let me tell you, it's beautiful. Oh, let me go ahead and help Layla. Let's just open up the door. And okay, take my hand, be careful, watch your step. Mom, we're finally here. It feels like we've been on the road forever. My legs hurt. I knew I heard my family. Hello, Augie, honey. Are you doing okay, Layla? You looked a little tired right there. It has been a long day though. Yeah, that was a whole workout. Oh my, and here's Miss Layla. Your stomach has gotten so big. It has, hasn't it? Kids, go say hi to your grandma. I think it's going to be a boy. Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Hello there. I was thinking the same thing. How's my favorite baby girl? Great, you're so big. We have so many girls in the family, so another boy would be nice. Yes, I am, and so are you, Grandma. And is that a loose tooth I see? Oh, honey, you know that's just my curves. Here she go, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's going to fall out. Oh, I see. And my two biggest grandbabies. How are you, Grandma? Oh, just getting by, honey. The chickens have been hungrier than ever lately. I'll let you all see a few of them later. So this big farm is all yours? It sure is. Oh, you know it, baby. You know who else been hungry? Me. You and that baby. My future great-grandbaby. I don't know about y'all, but I'm starving. We've been on the road since the morning. When are you not starving? Oh, August, hush it. You'll get to eat soon. Once a big boy, always a big boy. Now, Akila, you're looking mighty nice today. Hi, Angie. Finally. Oh, oh, um, all right. We just pulled up and she already wanna, wanna be a little bit rude, but you know, I'm just here to spend time with my kids on this nice 
this nice little farm, so I'll let it slide. Now, let me show y'all all around. This place is beautiful. I'll just slowly trail along behind everyone. No other basic home could ever top this. <laughs> she sounded a little, um, sick. Follow me. Look at the chicken. Honestly, living on a farm is definitely a dream goal. Seems like a lot of fun, but a lot of work too. Wow, here is the barn. I've got a few horses, very expensive. This one is my favorite. I named him August. Oh, he sure smells like August. Oh my goodness, so cute. And over here is my least favorite. Let me guess, she named it after me. I named it Akela. Grandma, that's not very nice. Your mother should be thankful. At least I bothered making her feel included, even if it is a smelly barn animal. Let me get some, Layla. Thank you, Angie. Yes, definitely feeling included. Boy, if you don't get your grimy hands out of my chip bag. Moving on now. It reeks. She's only sharing with me, Leo. Okay, this is definitely going to be an interesting trip. Okay, well, looks like a little chicken coop over here. And, oh, she's keeping bees now, too. My beautiful and impressive garden. I want to take a strawberry. Wow, Grandma. Squash isn't in season right now. But I pay extra. This looks so good, Mom. You think Grandma will notice, Layla? Forget about these chips. I'm about to munch on these. Wow, they do actually look really good. Yeah, keep your grimy fingers away. Do you mind if we take a watermelon home? No one is allowed in here but me. Well, it's a very, very lovely garden. Now, August, don't make me throw you over my lap. You're not too big to get a spanking. I definitely don't want to see that. Get me one, Leo. You already had all them chips. Mommy, help me get a strawberry. Okay, okay. Don't tell Grandma, though. There's one for you. And then I might as well just give me one, too, because she's not looking. Yay! Girl, hurry up. Eat it, eat it. And let me wipe the little strawberry juice off, you, off your cheeks. There we go. Much better. All right, family. Let's move out. Okay. Dang, Grandma, you got it all. All right, let's go ahead and catch up with the group before she catches me back here eating this strawberry. Okay, Layla, I know you're probably real tired of walking, but, but I'm sure you could definitely be more comfortable inside. Wow, I didn't even get a full look at the house. It's really pretty. You know, it kind of looks like ours when you think about it, but I'll leave it alone. Go ahead, check it out for yourselves. Be careful upstairs. You've made a lot of renovations since the last time I came to visit. I couldn't imagine growing up here. It's so beautiful. Better than yours. Hmm. The house I live at is the house where your, your son actually lives too. So be careful now. Because we definitely picked it out together. Ooh, burn. I heard Leo say that. Well, we all know he'd much rather be here. With his mama. Oh, really? Is is that true, August? Because you really haven't said much this whole time. And your mom has definitely been on my case since I stepped foot on this property. All the memories are kicking in. Well, I'm about to kick you in the behind if you don't defend me. Then maybe you'll remember. Let's keep it cute, y'all. And the kids would much rather be here with their best grandma. You already know the answer to that question. I don't want to get whooped. Well, somebody's going to end up whooping your behind before we leave. I could stay here for a while. Did you not hear the comment that she just said about her being the best grandma? My mom passed away earlier this year. What gives her the right to make a comment like that in front of the kids? I'll make sure I get her under control. This chair right here is mine. My special recliner. I better not see any of you on this chair. That goes for you too, August. Me too, Leo. Me too. Okay, August. Well, I'm trusting you. And you better get her under control fast. What I'm thinking about doing is removing the screws from her recliner and making her fall on her behind. You know, she's like a wild animal, which is why she lives on a farm. Well, that's one thing we can both agree on. Mmm. Cozy, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's very nice. I could have just sworn I said I was starving. I deserve to relax this way. 
Especially after having your big self. Aw, thanks, Leo. Now, who's hungry? Like August said, it's been a really long traveling day. Akela, come help me. Uh, now you want my help? Okay. Uh, you kids be good. Listen to your father. Okay, Angie, so what exactly do you need my help with? Actually, let me go ahead and wash my hands first. I'm thinking we can have some soup with toast. Soup with toast? Do you know, August? That is not gonna be enough to hold him over. We eat healthy over here. Okay, uh, well, I see that your stove's a little dirty. Are we, wait, are we using the stove or are we using this? Um, canning station over here. That's how I keep my slim and thick figure. Uh-huh. We're using the canning station, of course. The stove is so old school. Well, can you show me how to work this thing? Grab a carrot and bring it here. Okay, got the carrot. Um, wait. Before we continue, I think I need to address something with you. Woman to woman, I feel like we have to have this conversation every time we encounter each other. Oh gosh, what is it? The comment you made back there, saying that you're the best grandma when you know that my mother passed away not too long ago. I, I think that was a really shady comment and I think you knew what you were doing with that. And I don't appreciate it because I come to your house and I'm trying to respect you. I haven't really said anything rude to your face. You guys might have heard something under my breath, but I haven't said anything rude to your face. I'm trying to put on a good show for the kids and I think you should honestly do the same because it's not cute. Oh dear. I had no idea. Yes, I would just appreciate it if you would refrain from bringing my mother up. If it's in a negative way. Okay, okay. Understood. Now, for crying out loud, let's get cooking. Okay, so what do I do with this carrot? Place it in the pot. Okay, is that good? Yep, stir it up. Oh, okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. See, it's easy. We'll make a few more jars. Okay, sounds good. I'll just go ahead and place this over here. With different veggies. I'll grab some tomatoes from my garden. I'll be right back. Dad, I hope you're taking notes from Gordon. I'm not taking notes from anybody. I know what I'm doing. Guys, do you want to know what we're having for dinner? Your grandma decided that we are going to have soup and toast. Um, I'm not eating that, mommy. Please tell me you're lying. That's it? I tried to tell her that we needed something a little bit more than that. Soup and toast after that long road trip? Because I will order pizza on the side. Yeah, can we like order pizza? I'm going to need that meal times 20. Pizza sounds bomb right now. I mean, that's y'all's grandma. So, I don't know. Y'all want something else? You should take that up with her. But I'm not doing it. Not it. She can feed that to the chickens. Yeah, not it. I'll gladly take that up with her. I've done had enough. I'm back with the tomatoes. And Layla, this is going to be perfect for you. After that, baby, it'll make you look so snatched, honey. Hey, mom. So what's for dinner? Vegetable soup. Mmm, yummy. You gotta be kidding me. And I don't want to hear any complaining. Ahem. No soup about to fill up me or my children. Well... You all are the guests, and if you don't like what I cook, then you don't have to eat it. You can go to bed with no supper. Angie, Angie, no, you don't want to starve them, do you? Let me help out. How about I make a chicken or uh, just something else? Now, is that what you want? I don't think so. You cannot cook. Oh, okay. Um, I think that's a good idea, Keela. You do not know the right seasonings or nothing. I'm making my soup and that's it. And the toast. No arguing. Okay. Excuse me. Whatever. August, we are grown with children. We don't have to stay here. Come on. Leo was right. Let's just... Let's just go home. I tried to be positive and I'm sick of it. You better make that chicken. Cause she will get this two piece. You better back up with that two piece. 
uh-uh, your mom already hates my guts. Like, no, I'm not gonna make the chicken after she told me not to. You make the chicken, or do what one of the kids said and order pizza. Akila, come boil the water for the soup. Now, please. All right. Okay, tell the kids, we'll have a secret meeting. Later. Now, go make that soup. Okay, Angie, I'm here. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the soup. Uh, let me boil the water. Uh, do you have a pot? Oh, I see it down here. Okay. And let's just go ahead and fill this up. There we go. Turn the heat up. We're not trying to take all night. Not that high. Okay, okay. There, it's perfect. Let's add a little salt to the water. Nah, honey, leave the seasoning to me. But you should be watching your blood pressure because I heard you and August on the phone and he said it was high. Girl, don't even. All right, family, soup's up. Okay, and I'm just finishing up the bread. All right, kids, come on. You don't want to make grandma mad. I'm going to go freshen up in my bedroom. I'll be back. Ooh, this lady gives me a headache. Kids, kids, come downstairs. Your dad's here with the pizza. Come on, we're gonna eat it outside. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay. Shh, shh, you're too loud. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, sitting by the campfire. Dinner was actually not bad, but yeah, we're all still hungry. Where should I put it? Finally, something good. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Thanks, August. Mmm. No problem. Well, everyone was starving. <laughs> Your mom would literally kill us if she found out about this. Oh wait, there's s'mores ingredients too. Looks like we're having a little party. What if she's peeking through her window right now? Definitely the highlight of this trip. Okay, so who wants s'mores now? Me! I do! Me, me, me! Oh, I know what I do. Here, for you, Akila. Thank you. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, let me help Livy roast a marshmallow. Don't you know? Okay, Livy Bug, is this burnt enough for you? Careful, it's hot. Yes, yes! Okay, perfect. We literally snuck out as a family. But that does not mean that y'all can sneak out, so definitely don't do that. I'm actually gonna make another one. The first one was just too good. Okay, so, you know, we made it back inside and we got ready for bed. Well, we showered up and stuff because it was definitely a long trip. And now... The kiddos are all brushing their teeth. Well, not just the kiddos. I am too. Only you can make my world go black. Say you love me, then you take it back. Say it again, say it again. Uh, you want my forgiveness, so say it again. You're my thunder of my darkest night You just can't go back and make it right Cause it's too late Your time is up Damn, it's time to now it's stuck yeah. This countryside weather is definitely a little human So I'm gonna put on some more deodorant and... I just love the breeze. It just, it feels so cozy. Besides the presence of an actual demon sleeping in the room next to us, it's really nice. Me too. Okay, so we're gonna head to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, girls, be careful with the eggs. I would help, but that's what children are for. I'm scared. Oh, hush now. They won't bite. Do the chickens get sad that you take their babies? As long as you're gentle, you'll be fine. Hmm, I'm not sure. Ah, it pecked me. Oh, stop it. 
Livy, be careful. It barely touched you. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done with the theatrics. Go inside. Take those eggs to the kitchen. Okay. Fine. Come on, Livy. Don't you dare drop any. Hello, my little babies. Okay, so we're making breakfast. The girls were outside with Angie getting some fresh eggs. I think that's so cool. And I did get my hands on some more of those strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead and make some jam. I think that would be really good. August is getting started on the pancakes. And why is my baby crying? Mommy, it pecked me. Hold on, wait, mommy's a little busy. Let me just finish pouring this. Okay, there we go. The chicken pecked you, and grandma didn't do anything about it either. That chicken should have pecked her. She basically didn't care. Who left that front door open? Livy, Leah, she told me I was overreacting. No, Angie, it wasn't them. It was me. I left the door open. My bad. It's not the end of the world. You came in right after them. It's okay. Mommy, hide me. I'm not paying to heat the outdoors, you know. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have screen doors and windows? Global warming is already doing that. Are we eating at the table? Go put the drinks on the table. Duh. Dang. So, I'll take the eggs from you. And I'm sorry the bird pecked you here. Mwah. I hope you feel better, okay? That's right, just shake it off. You'll be good, I promise. And I'll go beat that bird up. Okay, thank you, Mommy. No problem. Okay, so I have the eggs, and now I got the bacon, and now let's hurry up and fry this. We definitely slept in, but it was much needed. Okay, guys, I'm hurrying up, but you can definitely start eating without me. It's okay. The bacon and eggs will be there soon, I promise. How about you sit next to Grandma? Okay, yeah, August, good idea. How about you sit a little closer to your mom? I mean, she is your mom after all. I don't know why you sit in there looking goofy. Thank you. Akila, pass me a plate. Okay, here you go. And where is my lemon water? Uh, where's her lemon water, August? Because I don't have it. Okay, let me feed my babies. Here you go, Livy. Be careful, it's hot. And Leah. Mmm, this is so good. The pancakes are so fluffy. Just like something else. August, not here. Stop. These are really good. You picked out some good eggs, Leah and Libby. Come on, Layla. You know what's up. Um, hello. Is anyone going to pass me a pancake? August, your mom is talking to you. I was talking about my belly. Oh, you're right. Because, um, it's definitely kind of flat over here. Not even, <laughs> not even going to lie. That's fine. Okay, so breakfast is over and we are starting to just clean up. Come here, Layla, baby. Okay, uh, we have a couple bits of leftover food, but I think it's fine. I'm making some special tea for you. Special tea? I'm glad she didn't offer me any because it would have been poison. It's for the baby. What kind of special concoction is this? Drink up. You want me to wash them or you? This is your house. You can wash them. I do all the washing at home. Oh, no worries. It's all good. Uh, it smells strong like vinegar. I drank this every day before I had August. Oh, oh my gosh. I have to like cover my nose. I put some apple cider vinegar in it. Oh, that explains it. Are you okay? It's good for you. Dad, move over. Don't you spit that out. I will slap you upside your head. Oh, you're drinking her apple cider? Let me move over real quick. That is so rude. I mean, can you blame her? Mom, you better not hit a pregnant woman or 911 will be on speed dial. Grandma, I'm sorry, but what was that? Whatever. If you don't want my help, you'll be left with stretch marks. See my body? Zero stretching. She always likes to do this little 360. Stretch marks are beautiful. I feel like they tell a story. Yeah, I got all the stretching. What story? That you had a child and turned ugly? No, thank you. You know what? Don't listen to her. You don't have to drink this. It's fine. We can find you something else that definitely tastes a lot better than this. And you're still going to be beautiful. You're already beautiful. Let's go ahead and just toss this out. Mm -mm. Okay, how about you take Leo out to go fishing? Because 
You've been wanting to do that for a while. And I need to lie down. You all are too much. Okay, Angie. Oh yeah, I can teach him my ways. Okay, and I'll actually pick some fruit with the girls. That seems like a good idea. Layla, would you like to come? As long as I don't gotta do too much walking. Is there a barrel around here? You want us to roll you around in the barrel and shake the baby up? That is not a good idea. There's definitely some chairs you can sit on though, so come on. Kids, I'm glad you guys are playing ping pong. That looks like a lot of fun, but Leo, you're gonna go learn how to fish with your father and girls, we're gonna be picking fruit. I mean, your dad's out there waiting for you. I can see him already. Come on, I was winning. Well, you can play again later. Okay, mommy. All right, come on, let's go. It's such a beautiful day outside and Angie is resting. I've been waiting for this one. Now it's feeling like a vacation. She has so many fruit trees. Oh, look at my boys over there. So, oh, looks like she was already picking some apples. Let's see, what should we pick first? There's apples, there's oranges, and there's lemons. Mommy, there's a chicken over there. I'm scared. Okay, don't worry here, I'll carry you. This spring breeze is nice. Apples. Okay, no need to be scared, Livy. Oh, she gripping onto me tight. Okay, let's pick some apples first. Leah, you can stand up on the ladder. Just be really careful. I'm not letting go. Don't worry, you don't have to. I have you. Let me get up out of the way because you're about to fall and knock me down. Ooh, go ahead and put it in the barrel, okay? Or you can just eat it, but maybe go run it under the water over there. There's a sink. Livy, do you want to pick something too? Look, there's oranges, your favorite. Actually, I'll take you to the one over here since you're scared of the chicken. There we go. Oh, this one looks good. Here, orange. Okay, this makes me want to take up gardening again. Layla, peel my orange, please. It's so yummy and sweet. Like that. Let me see you try. Did you catch one? No. Yikes. Like you could do any better. Let's see if I could do any better. Hold this and don't eat it. Dad, I was hungry. You have no self-control. I'm out of here. Wait, did you catch a fish? No, these kids. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching our time here on Grandma Angie's farm. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. There's no